logical choice. This week, we locked through On the Water, showing you how to do it right the first time. A feature interview with former hockey star and high-performance enthusiast John Anderson and the Ranger Comanche Bass Boat on performance. So stay tuned for the Power Boat Television Show. Every year, statistics tell us over 17 million Canadians take to the water in a boat at least once every boating season. Of course, there are many of us who boat as often as we can. In fact, wouldn't it be terrific if you could take the whole summer off just to enjoy your boat? Well, we know a fellow who does just that. He works roughly from September to April every year. Then every boating season, he comes up to Lake Joseph here in the Muskokas of Ontario to enjoy a little cottaging and a lot of boating. He refers to himself as an avid power boater who plays a little hockey. John, come on in here. How are you? Good, Chris. Yourself? Very well, thank you. But of course, hockey fans throughout North America know him as a rugged winger who played with the Toronto Maple Leafs, the Quebec Nordique, and the Hartford Whalers of the NHL, John Anderson. Now, John, tell me. Most professional athletes have a hobby, a pastime in the off-season. For hockey players, it's usually golf, but you somehow got hooked up with power boats. Tell me about that. Well, it happened a long, long time ago when I was about four years old. Uh, my dad had a, an old Cedar Strip wooden boat with a five and a half horsepower, and I started driving that around. And about two years later, uh, we got into an aluminum boat, and I couldn't believe the speed difference. Well, ever since then, I've been hooked on going faster and faster, and even now, I have quite a few boats now that go fast, but I just can't seem to get to that peak uh, peak speed and uh, I don't know what's going to take. Well you've got a bit of a, an in-water boat show right here. You've got five <laughs> boats here and we're going to take a closer look at one of them in a minute but tell me about the others. Well first of all I have the I still have the same little aluminum boat with a 1955 Johnson on it. Uh, we've kept it around, kept it clunking around and uh, uh, I like to have my, my son get in it once in a while and, and uh, enjoy himself in it you know such as, as I did and uh, uh, you know it's funny uh, when I first come up to Lake Joseph we had an old uh, old fishing boat up here, and my wife wanted to go faster, so that's when it all started again. Uh, I went and got a hydro stream with an open bow on it to go faster, and uh, it was great, but then I wanted something better for skiing, so I went and got an Alice, and well, that thing was, that was crazy fast, and uh, then I wanted to do some fishing also, so you couldn't fish out of a hydro stream or an Alice, and so I went and got another fishing boat, and then I got a paddle boat for the kids, and uh, well, then I started manufacturing my own, so it just went on and on and on. It's been, uh, it's been like a, a bowling ball for, last two or three years. What prompted you to reach the point where you decided you were going to build your own boats? We're going to take a look at that in just a second here. Well, I felt that uh, although I had a couple of really fast boats, nothing really, uh, I, I drove really handled well at top speed and uh, I was in search of, of, of a boat uh, that would handle really well at top speed and uh, something that people wouldn't be afraid to, to ride and uh, ride at top speed with me. You know, if I get in my Allison, although it goes really fast, I got a lot of fingerprints on, on my dashboard from, from people being scared, so uh, it's not fun for them, and if it's not fun for them, I, I don't enjoy taking them out either. That's right. Tell me about your new boat, then. Obviously, uh, you don't anticipate any fingerprints in the dash here. Well, it is quite fast, although it's, it's uh, very stable. It has, uh, uh, it's a tunnel V boat, and uh, of course, it rides on, on two outside spots, and so you don't get the, the walking at, at a high speed. And, uh, You're referring to chine walking. Chine walking, yeah, where it starts to skid sideways and, and rocking when you, know, when you get up to a certain, uh, certain uh, speed. And this boat doesn't do that. You know, it's a, it's a hands-off speed, although I don't recommend it, uh, hands-off uh, driving. But uh, you can't take your hands off the wheel at a certain speed, and uh, it handles like uh, running very straight. The Canadian specifications are 150 horsepower, and that's what I have on it, uh, although I'm sure some people will probably put more horsepower on it. It runs about 77 miles an hour with a 150 stock engine, and uh, that's with no tricks, a standard 24-inch uh, laser propeller. Uh, the boat's almost 18 feet long and 7.5 and feet wide, and uh, it seats four people. It, they, the seats look small, but they are actually very comfortable for four adults, and uh, it runs quite well with, with even a full load in. John proved to be a skilled and safe driver who seemed to know his new stealth boat quite well. And it ran as fast as he said it could with the stock 150 horsepower Mercury outboard on the transit. It was a weekday, so there was no other boat traffic at John's end of Lake Joseph, and it allowed us to wind the stealth out and see what she could do. As with all air entrapment boats, the ride was literally on a cushion of air and rock steady as well. John Anderson is a lucky man. He has a lovely family who share his love of boats. And through his talent and hard work all those years in the NHL, he has a comfortable lifestyle. 
But perhaps he has all summer to go by.